Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be solving four problems. Let us solve the first addition problem using hexadecimal. So we have a seven plus a five. Well, we know that's a 12 and a 12 is a C. So we just come here and put C. Then a two plus a one is a three. And that's all we have to do for something simple like this. Example one, all done. Let's now solve problem number two. Notice that I have the hex problem, what we're trying to learn, but I'm gonna review base 10, same problem. So 3F is 63, and of course nine is nine. So when we do base 10, what we say is a three plus nine is 12. Well, let me just write that down. So we know that that's 12. But this column, largest number that can go in here is 9. And we're doing base 10. So that means to come from this column to this column, we move the base, a 10. Now, how do we get a 10 out of here? Well, we can say 10 plus 2. And then what we do is we take this 10 and we add it to this column, which will be a 1. So this column evaluates to 2. And this column evaluates to 7. So 7, 2 is the answer for this problem, base 10. Let's use that same technique on this hex problem. We know that f plus 9 in hex equals 15 plus 9 equals 24 in decimal. Let's speed this up. Add 1 to f, subtract 1 from 9, giving 16 plus 8. Right? I just took away 1 from here and added it to here. That gave me the 16. And then 8. So I'm going to take this 16 and I'm going to move it over here to the tens column. So I'm going to bring a one up there. So now, you know, the 16 is gone here. I'm left with an eight. Now a one and a three is four. And that is the answer for three F plus nine, 48 hexadecimal. 40 okay, third problem, hexadecimal addition. Ready? A and six. Well, we know A is 10. So we can say 10 plus six, and that evaluates to 16. Now we know we can do a carry. So a carry means if this column sums up to 16, I'm gonna take that number and I'm gonna add it to the next column, but it goes over as a one. So now you're gone. So this column evaluates to zero. Now a one and an F, a F is 15, so one and an F is 16. So 16 plus nine, well, what is this 16? It's just like that 16. So we take that 16, we add one over here, make it go away there, and this column is nine. And then a one and a four is five. So the value is 590 for this addition problem. Here is our final problem. So we begin with this column and a three and a nine. Well, three is three, nine is nine, so that is a 12. But a 12 is a C, so this column value is C. Then we look at a nine and a seven. So a nine and a seven is 16. So we know 16 is a magic number doing hexadecimal addition. So we know that is 16 plus a zero. I'm going to take this value and I'm going to raise it over here and I'm going to put a one there. So zero drops down. Then a one and an F is 16 plus a zero. Well, this is another 16. So I just take this and move it over here, cross that out and drop your zero. Okay, now it gets complicated. So we got a one, a D and a seven. Well, we know a D is 13. We know a seven is a seven plus a one is eight. So we know that. So together, what do we got here? We have 21. Now, we know we can take a 16 out of that. So we say 21, 16, so that's 16 and a five. So I'm gonna take this 16, I'm gonna raise it, 
I'm going to cross it out here, and we have a 5 here. And then a 1 and an F is 16. See, 15 is F. So now we got 16. Well, that's no good. That's like 16 plus 0. So I have to raise this. So 0 drops down. And then this, i got to make another column here, becomes 1. So this value evaluates to 1, 0, 5, 0, 0, C. Let's use a calculator and see if that's true. Here you can see I used a calculator, 105,000 C. We're all done. Hope this makes sense.